YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are safe and healthy. For today's video, we are going to be showcasing a DPS build that has absolutely insane amounts of damage and a crazy fast time to kill. But before we jump into the video, I wanted to address something that was posted on one of my last uploads. A viewer had posted that he preferred to see Dark Zone clips versus Conflict clips. And while I do agree, and I do prefer to post Dark Zone clips, there are a few things to take into consideration. First, I just really do not get to play as much anymore, guys, because I work a full-time job and I now have two toddlers. So I am just at an extreme disadvantage when I go to the Dark Zone as there are people with 25 expertise on everything and I just really don't have the time to expertise and put that much effort into the game that much anymore. So that is, uh, you know, reason number one, along with I have... <laughs> I play solo. I have no more friends that play this game, and so going into the dark zone, I'm usually uh, getting jumped by four, uh, groups of four that, you know, like I said, all have 25 uh, expertise and are work running meta builds. So it's just this game is just not as easy to solo as Division One was. Um, so th that is another thing. And also piggybacking off of the time being played, uh, it is easier to go into conflict and play, you know, three to five matches and just get clips and have a video out versus going to the dark zone and having to look for people. The dark zone just, it's just been dead lately and kind of dry. So it's just, it's just faster for me guys and easier on my end. Uh, so I hope you guys understand and I, I will try to do better and get some dark zone clips in the videos as well. I got a couple for this video, so let's uh, stop talking about it and let's jump into the build gameplay followed up with the build breakdown. Explosive Seeker Mine detected. Hostile Defender Drone detected. Agent down.
Okay, guys, here's an overview of the bill. We are running four-piece Uber Initiative and two-piece Walker and Harris. And for the specialization, I can already tell you that I have swapped since taking this screenshot. I switched from the uh, firewall to the gunner specialist. For the primary weapon, I went with the St. Elmo's engine, which is the exotic assault rifle. And the talent says shooting an enemy with this weapon will give one stack. At 100 stacks, the next magazine will be 100% filled with shock ammo. For the secondary, I got a vector submachine gun, but you can really run whatever you want. For the talent, I've got unwavering, which says swapping to this weapon grants 300% weapon handling for 5 seconds. Kills refresh the buff. Swapping away disables this from all weapons for 5 seconds. And of course, for the sidearm, I'm going with the named pistol, the Orbit, for that extra critical hit chance and critical hit damage. Moving on to our first piece of gear, the Walker and Harris mask, which gives us 5% weapon damage, and then we've got weapon damage, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, and a critical hit damage mod. For the chest piece, our first piece of Umbra initiative, and we've got weapon damage, critical hit damage, and a critical hit damage mod. And the talent is from the shadows, which says increases max stacks for from the shadows from 50 to 100 and stack gain from 10 to 20. For the holster, our second piece of Umbra initiative, which gives us 15% critical hit chance. And then we've got weapon damage and critical hit damage rolled onto this. Moving on to the knee pads, our third piece of Umbra initiative. This is going to give us 30% reload speed. And then we've got weapon damage and critical hit damage rolled onto these. For the gloves, this is our fourth piece of Umbra initiative, and I've got weapon damage and critical hit damage rolled onto these, and this unlocks the four-piece bonus of From the Shadows into the Light, which says, while in cover, gain 10 stacks per second, up to 50. Each stack will give 1% critical hit damage increase and 0.3% RPM. Buff nut does not apply while shooting from cover. While out of cover, agents lose two stacks per second at normal speed and and one stack per second if sprinting while out of cover and in combat gain 10 stacks per second up to 50 each stack will give 0.8 percent armor regen when it is consumed stacks consumed 10 stacks per second only in cover and last but not least for the backpack we went with a walker and harris backpack this is our second piece so it's going to give us five percent damage to armor we've got weapon damage critical hit damage critical hit chance and a critical hit damage mod and we went with the talent vigilance which says increases total weapon damage by 25%, taking damage, disables this buff for 4 seconds. For these skills, I went with the decoy, just to kind of sneak around the map, and as the gear set reads, stay in the shadows. Um, for the second skill, I went with the seeker ball, just in case I down somebody, I can send the ball to go finish them off, and also if somebody pushes me, this ball will stagger them and give me enough time to melt them quickly. Here is a look at the stat sheet. We are at 60% critical hit chance and 172% critical hit damage. And this is not counting the extra critical hit damage and armor regen you are going to get from being in cover. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to leave me a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. And if you're interested for more content like this in the future, be sure to subscribe. Remember, life's a gift, but it's not always wrapped in a bow. So always stay dedicated and keep grinding. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.